So today I'm going to show how to install the extension table on my Texo 2750. So there's a couple of different pieces that we use. This piece here, it's rectangular, it's got two holes in it. This is the top locking piece. This is the piece that's going to go right here when the table's installed. And then there is the front stabilization piece. It's trapezoidal shaped, at least that's how I view it. And this piece is gonna go on the front. This one's blue because I didn't have any hot pink paint. Then there's a series of smaller stabilization pieces. These are about an inch and a half long. And depending on how you are going to install your table, you might use these pieces. Um, if you are going to use these pieces because you don't have these two bolt holes or you don't want to use these, then you're going to use double-sided tape to attach these to the front and the back. I'm actually going to install this piece in the back because I'm going to install another stabilization piece. This one has two elongated holes and I'm going to actually mount them on the, using these two bolt holes. The threads on these two bolt holes appear to be M4, and the threads on these appear to be M5, uh, which are standard bolts that you can get at the hardware store. So for the first piece, I'm going to install, just loosely install this piece and mount it into these bolt holes. And they're just loosely installed, not completely tight, because I need to still be able to adjust the height of this. Okay, then the table gets installed right there. It's pretty stable already, but to ensure that we completely lock it in place, I'm going to take the top locking piece and I'm going to place it on the table. It was suggested to me, it might be a good idea, to use some double-sided tape underneath this, just you know, fitting it right there. That way the top locking piece is always in the proper place and all you have to do is just drop your bolt right in the hole. So this is on, it's not tight, tight, it's, but it's, it's snug enough to keep the table from moving. For both of these pieces, since there's no holes in it and there's no holes on the machine that we can use to install them, I am going to attach them to the machine using double-sided tape. Now this is extreme mounting tape that I got from the hardware store. Um, extra heavy duty stuff. It, it's, these pieces really don't move once they're installed. So from underneath the machine, or underneath the table, I'm going to take my this piece and I'm going to sort of get it right in position there. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that my needle plate is level with the table. And it is. It's, if you look from the side, you can see it's level. So what I'm doing with this piece is I'm just making sure that the table stays level. And it's just an extra support to prevent the table from coming below where I want it to be positioned. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this piece, but I'm going to push it up a little farther. I'm going to push it so that way it's flush with the table up here. If you're not installing this piece, but you're going to use the side stabilization pieces, these smaller ones, just for reference, you can see a little smaller, you can just use the double-sided tape on that and attach it instead of this piece so that way you have a little bit of support in the front right here. But because I don't utilize these uh, attachment points for anything, I think it's a good idea to just go ahead and use this plate. And so I'm going to tighten that on there. The last piece to install is going to be the uh, back, sta the side stabilization piece, but I'm going to put it on the back of the machine back over here. And that's just going to make sure that the table doesn't tip back. All right, so you can see that side stabilization piece, that smaller one, is attached here with that double-sided tape. It's a nice tight fit right at the top, so it is leaning. the table is leaning against it to make sure that the table doesn't slip in the back. 
So now you can see with the table removed, the side stabilization pieces are here. So we've got the, uh, the side stabilization piece. This is bolted in and it doesn't move. We've got the front stabilization piece. Again, it's sort of trapezoidal shaped and shaped similar to the front of the machine. And then the back stabilization piece right there. So this piece will prevent the table from tipping back. This piece will prevent the table from tipping forward. And this piece will prevent the table from dropping down below the level of your needle plate. So they're stabilization and level pieces. All the pieces are here. Everything's already permanently installed. I want to start sewing some flat pieces. Just install, install my top locking piece, and that's in place. I have a bobbin, it's already pretty damaged, um, so I put it on a ring that I can keep right on my sewing machine, and you know, I have a magnet um, up here, and I just keep it handy. So um, I don't recommend you using a bobbin that you're going to sew with on the regular, but if you have a small screwdriver, that's great. Or if you have a junky bobbin, mine is like already all bent up. I will never use this bobbin to sew with again. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is just tighten this up. When I don't want to use this and I need to use my cylinder arm, And now I can use my cylinder arm, and these pieces won't get in the way of what I'm stitching. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to help.